Hey everybody, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So today's video is probably gonna be part one of maybe two or three, uh, depending. I, I'm trying not to have too long of videos for certain things. Um, but it's, a, it's a Halloween themed candle reviews. And so over the last two to three years, I wanna say, uh, my husband and I have bought several Halloween themed candles from a couple different candle companies. And um, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on their scents. And if I remember, <laughs> I will put the uh, official scent notes from the company's websites down in the uh, downstairs in the description. So I'm gonna start with Kringle Candle. So Kringle Candle, they make an excellent product. Uh, unfortunately, they over the last couple of years or so, we noticed that they jacked their prices up to a point where I think they're overpriced at this point. Most of their like pillar candles, they're primarily their specialty candles, like the Halloween themed ones and stuff. Um, they're like $34 a candle and to me that's a lot regardless of how long the candle lasts it's just it's a candle i mean anyway but we bought these when they were a lower price and it was our i'm gonna go on a tangent so we live on a budget not a bad budget but we adhere to a financial budget that we came up with so once a year we are able to splurge on Halloween decor. Like we usually get one, maybe two items a year, depending. Um, and then some years we don't get anything because we don't have room because we don't have a huge house. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, to end a tangent. So going back to these candles, uh, they're very good candles. I just think they're overpriced at this point. I, re I just went on Kringle Candles website and this year's Halloween candles are 34 bucks a pop. And I'm just like, plus you have to pay for shipping unless you hit like, I think it's a hundred dollars, which if you buy multiple candles would not be hard to do. These do last, I will say that. Uh, they're all soy candles, which I assume helps them burn cleaner and last longer. Um, they have very good scents. Uh, even the ones I don't like, they have, you know, it's not a weak throw, as the candle pros say. And they they have nice pictures on them. But again, it's a candle. It's a scented candle. <laughs> Sorry. That's my, my cheap and practical side coming out. But anyway. All right, let's get into this. Uh, like I said, at the, I think at the beginning, I'm going to try and keep these videos... Um, I'll probably break these this up into like two or three videos because we have over the last couple of years, like I said, we bought several Kringle candles and um, also some really good candles from Goose Creek. And uh, those will be in a separate video. Let's get on with this. Thank you for listening to me, Ram. Okay, so the first candle that I'm going to talk about is candy corn. So let me, these are the how Kringle candles look, at least these Halloween themed ones, they do have some different styles this year, I noticed on their website. It's glass. They they did black wax. It's These are uh, two wick candles, by the way. They do black wax, or they did, at least with the first batch of candles we got from them. And then the second batch is just, you know, uncolored soy wax, which was... It was okay. Um, I'm, I wasn't as disappointed as my husband was about the whole aesthetic thing, but whatever. <laughs> uh, candy corn. I am team candy corn. I love candy corn. It's my, it's an annual treat for me. Um, yes, it is overly rich and sweet, which is why I only have a handful, like a small handful at a time. Um, maybe once a day if that. Because, uh, but I want to look forward to it every year. So, candy corn. <laughs> so, this one is straight up butter, toffee, caramel popcorn smell. There's like a light, very light hint of smoke to it, like a you know, the like it's been cooked. 
It smells amazing. There's a trick I learned from Candle Pros to smell the lid as well. Because sometimes the scent will be a little bit different and more, maybe more intense on the lid. But it smells the same. This is absolutely rich and delicious to smelling. So it's like it might make your mouth water because it's like it will smell sweet. Um, yeah, like butter, toffee, popcorn or caramel popcorn. Uh, I absolutely love this one. Definitely, if you're a candy corn fan or just like those smells, this is a good, this was a really great one. All right, what's the next one? These are in no particular order, except for the last one that I'll, I'll do, but that's for reasons. Okay, so this one is called Blood Moon. Again, these got really cool pictures on it, which adds to the whole, you know, decor. Um, unfortunately, you will run across one, maybe two, not many, but we got one where the little seal kind of came off. It popped off like it came from away from the glue, but it's, you know, it's no big whoop. Ooh, so this is completely different. It's light. There's a, almost a hint of, I want to say, I think one of the, main sense to this is like it there is some citrus but it's not sharp so i think it's like blood orange it's like i want to say a whiff of something else maybe frankincense or something i again i'll when i find the actual uh note or scent notes for these candles i'll i'll put them in the description but it's very this is like a refreshing smell especially in contrast with the candy corn. Very good. There's almost a hint of cherry to it, I want to say. So that was Blood Moon. Again, I'll probably recommend most of these because they all smell amazing. Um, if you can find them or if you can find something that's similar in scent to them, I, I get it if you're a candle person, uh, especially for the Halloween time. Oh. Um, ooh, that's strong. Okay, that just hit me in the face. <laughs> so this next one is Black Cat. It's a really cool picture. Uh, this one I don't care for. And that's me. This one smells very clinical, very astringent, soapy. I think it's, is it, it's frankincense that smells like that. And I just, I don't think I'm a fan of that scent. Yeah, so that's all I smell like a powder, there's almost like a clean laundry detergent scent to this. And if that's your thing, then Black Cat is for you. I just, this is the one like, I don't care for it, my husband loves it. The stink of clean, as Invader Zim would say. All right, <laughs> moving on. Uh, we have Spectre, pretty cool. Oh, that's pleasant. Floral. Yeah, it's like honeysuckle. It smells like honeysuckle to me. Maybe some lavender thrown in there. It smells like purple. <laughs> what else? Maybe, maybe some type of stone fruit, like a plum or something. But that smells really good. A lot of these, I ha we burn these once a year, which is why they've lasted us so long. Um, and why we haven't, one of the reasons we haven't bought any more is we have a lot of candles <laughs> for Halloween now to the point where we can't put them all out. So it's like we choose which ones. Um, and we'll burn each one through, you know, we'll choose a different one each day to, to burn and um, like I said, when they're done, when all the wax is gone, I mean, you can still use these as decor if that is your thing. Yes. So one of my favorite types of scary movies is haunted house movies. I'm one of those people that loves, you know, scary haunted house movies. So this candle is haunted house. I want to say that looks almost like either the Psycho House or uh, Adam's Family. It's got that style. All right, what is this one? 
Ooh. This one smells, they all smell. <laughs> this smells like powdery, like light laundry detergent, but pleasant, not astringent, not overbearing. Cobwebby, like there's dust in the air, but again, pleasant, pleasant dust. <laughs> Uh, this has got some floral to it. Something. Yeah. But this, honestly, if you've ever been to Disney uh, and you were able to get on and you rode the Haunted Mansion, I think this smells similar to what it smells like inside the Haunted Mansion ride. Definitely, yeah, get, get Haunted House. That's a good one. You know what, this next one, we might actually, yeah, we might actually do all these and I'll just do a, a separate video for the rest of them. Um, we've got about five more candles to go through, so hopefully you can hang in there. Uh, so this next one is, is actually named after one of my favorite 80s horror movies that I haven't seen in years, and that is Fright Night. Pretty cool picture, got some bats flying over the moon. Let's see what this one smells like. Fruit, there's definitely some fruit. Maybe some like night air. I mean, this is just what it, it like invokes memories. So, that, you know, it's how scents do that. And so it's like if you're outside on a cool autumn night, maybe a hint of apple floating in the air. This is nice. There's like clouds, maybe some fog at your ankles. Yeah, it's refreshing for sure. Interesting. Fright night. <laughs> Not so scary. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Let's do It's Alive. <laughs> I love this picture. That is such a cool picture. If I can get the lid off. There we go. This one has a light scent. It's not heavy. Or strength. It's it's got. I would say this one has a lower strength. It's not potent. There's a a very light hint of what I can of like a. That's hard to say. It's very low on the soapy scent, and I think that's what frankincense smells like. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a scent expert, but I just know there's a certain scent that to me smells just like soap, like really strong astringent soap and I just don't care for that smell. But that's that smells like that. Let me smell the lid. Yeah. It's like just being out in a cool night breeze. Maybe some laundry in the air. <laughs> a lot of these smell like laundry. It smells good though. I li I like it. <laughs> Okay, so this next one is Wolfsbane. That's pretty cool. Ah, they're all cool. All right. Another light scent. Very light smoke scent, very light. This one's hard to tell, it's very... It, very light. Floral, I'm not, I'm gonna have to burn this one, I will. I'm gonna have to burn this one again and see what it smells like burnt because I'm not getting much. It's very light on the strength, on the scent strength. At most I would say it's got some floral hints to it. It's not unpleasant, but it's not a strong uh, smell. Okay. Uh, second to last for this video is Nightmare. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, what is that? It's like... I can't, I can't do this. It's pleasant for a nightmare. <laughs> There's, uh... 
it's like cherry maybe with some smoke mixed in but very light on the smoke again incense maybe some light incense it's refreshing that's for sure i didn't know nightmares could do that yeah there's like maybe some lavender or a rose yeah i'm gonna be interested to see what the actual note scent notes are for these because this is nice <laughs> have a nice nightmare <laughs> okay so the last one uh for this video anyway is day of the dead i love that that's such an amazing great photo love the makeup work on that lady oh this is nice there's powder some lavender. There's a sweetness to it. Like it's very, it's like on the back. So that is like maybe some type of fruit. Yeah. I can't place that, but it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah, there's like a fruit, not citrusy. Yeah, maybe peachy, very light peach or cherry. It's a stone fruit for sure, but that's that's awesome. That is smells so good. A lot of these have amazing scents, which is <laughs> why uh, you know we 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 actually bought extras of a couple of them, and I'll go over that in in another video. But that's it for this one. Uh, stay tuned for more candle review videos. Ending it here. No more blathering. Thank you. Uh, happy Halloween, everybody. Halloween's coming. Oh, I'm actually filming this on the 30th of September, my birthday. Uh, I had a great birthday weekend. I actually took today off from work. Um, and I'm making videos for my silly little YouTube channel. And I'm going to watch some scary movies later and have an amazing dinner. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys are doing well. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know your thoughts. If you're like a, a candle person, I, I am, but I had to, we had to stop buying so many. Uh, we're just running out of room and they're expensive, but that's it. Hey, everybody, remember kind, uh, practice kindness and remember kindness too. <laughs> it's free. Take care.